finally, this marks my final broadcast at WJAC TV. It seems like yesterday that I first walked into this building, but it wasn't. It was May 14th, 1981, and frankly, I was a bit intimidated by the two WJAC icons at the time, Ron Stevenson and Bill Wilson. I'm the last on-air connection to that generation of WJAC anchors, and only three people, Rob Obley, Bob Rutenberg, and Rick Myers, remain from those who were here when I was first hired. So many people had a hand in how I got here. I mentioned them earlier in the interview. In print journalism, Don Fickle at Ferndale and Tom Russell at Pitt Johnstown. My encourager, Melva Yarnick, whose kind words led a public speaking hating college student to a radio internship. And I had great mentors at WJNL Radio. I mentioned some, Jeff Wilkinson, Chuck Bridges, Doug Krisner, and Paul Staggerwald. And when Jim Edwards decided to take a chance and hire me here, Greg Confer was indeed quick to take me under his wing. I got to work with Bill Wilson, my idol growing up watching on TV for several years. And Marty Ranavonic and I spent more nights together at this station than I can count. I have built wonderful relationships with so many people over the years from every department. And of course, the last few beside Jen has been rewarding. She's been an absolute joy and I treasure our time on the anchor desk. And that goes for Tony as well. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, it's just work. I've been blessed to have enjoyed my time at WJAC. I want to thank you, the viewers, for being so supportive and encouraging over the years. I've been overwhelmed by your comments, and yes, I've read every one. It's been my pleasure to spend my career in my hometown serving you and covering so many people. I want to close by thanking my sneaky family. <laughs> I didn't know they were doing any of this. My wife, Holly, son, Sean, future daughter-in-law, Katie, daughter, Alyssa, son-in-law, Dave, and last but not least, our granddaughter, Lucy, who's in for a lot of spoiling, along with our grandchild on the way. And is Ava in the... Jackson back there too? Yeah, and they're back there as well. So I just want to thank you so much. <laughs> they're all here with us right now. And you know, Tim, I really struggled to figure out what I was going to say to you at this moment. You've worked with me during my entire career at WJC. I've been here for 30 years. You've sat next to me on this anchor desk night after night. And a couple of days ago, I was at home and it just came to me. I remembered something that you had said to me during an interview I did with you for the 70th anniversary special of WJAC. So you were telling me at the time about WJAC's local sports coverage and the legendary Bill Wilson, who always seemed to cover the sporting events, big and small. I can still remember my dad coached gymnastics. He covered gymnastics. Triple ABA tournaments, the Sunny Hannah Amateurs. And I'll never forget my dad sitting at home watching the film of the gymnastics and it might have been 30 or seconds or a minute and at the end he just looked at tv and said that a boy bill in other words he was so appreciative to get that coverage and that's something that stuck with me when i got into sports that there is an audience for every sport no matter how minor you might think it is somebody truly appreciates that you're going out there and giving them some coverage well, i always remembered that that a boy bill when i was doing sports and it, when bill had left and i'd get those phone calls and I found out it's, it's pretty difficult to be the guy to say no to somebody. So we would cover, you know, all the sports that we could. You're a class mm -hmm. act from all of us here at WJAC and from everybody who is watching at home. That a boy, Tim. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks to my family, viewers. Look. It's okay, we're going to break out a choral concert in here. <laughs> People are in the studio right now. Too bad we can't get a studio tour now. And, uh, but, but thanks to everyone. It's been my pleasure to work here. I'm going to miss this desk. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to spend a lot more time with you guys. So uh, it's been my pleasure. You're, oh, you'll always be a member of the WJAC family, and you know that. Love you.